Sorry for the mess. I know it's it, I'm a little bit messy. It's because I was working with invisible paint. All right, that was stupid, right? <laughs> no, anyways, let's go ahead and talk about the podcast, all right? So Fresh and Fit, they dropped a podcast, and I have to say that it was absolutely entertaining. I enjoyed myself every single minute. Uh, there was a lot of interesting characters as well. There was Zerka, uh, Destiny, Nick Fuentes, Sneeko, Myron and Fresh, of course, and of course the girls. But obviously, like when I go there, I watch to see the I, I watch it to see the arguments between Myron and Sne- and not Sneeko, but uh, Myron and Destiny, because it's always entertaining. I always get value out of it, and I always walk away learning something new. However, there was this chink in that armor that was very annoying, which was Zerka. Now I want to go ahead and let you guys know that I actually like Zerka. I think he's funny at times. But oftentimes he just find I find them to be very annoying. You know, I almost felt like I needed to watch this podcast from the very beginning, started all over with my ears shut. And if you take a look at the comment section, there's people out there who agree as well. Zerka is just out of control and Myron definitely has to at least have some sort of like quality control because Zerka is just running rampage. It was just so obvious that Zerka was just derailing the entire conversation and it was absolutely annoying and you can tell because throughout the entire podcast myron fresh and even destiny they were all just telling him to shut up fucking <laughs> streaming with whores <laughs> all right let's let him finish yeah, people part, people that yeah, 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 the, 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 here's the truth well, a man who can we, Zerka, Zerka, stop oh you think God. do you think <laughs> a decrease no that's a we need a wet floor sign you're a hazard stop Zerka. so if you believe that they believe in lesser so so continue on sorry you know what i I always oh, say, hold on, bro. Come on, dude. Oh, my. <laughs> Down. It's hard to find that Steven. guy. But oh, shut the fuck up for one oh, second. Jesus wow. Christ, right? Oh, 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 oh. Kangaroo f- Go ahead. What? <laughs> Bro, come on, man. Yeah, <laughs> better finish your question, Zerka, before you make fun of it. I was genuinely thinking about cutting some of those clips off, but then I started thinking to myself, like, no, man, I really want to emphasize just how unbelievably annoying Zerka was. Because I genuinely wanted to listen to what Destiny and Myron had to say. Because they were debating, and almost every single time without fail, Zerka would just intervene and just completely derail the entire conversation. Here's just two examples of what I'm talking about. There is something beautiful That's about men competing in the field, about uh, about athletics, about the Olympics, about different So when are you of... gonna see your child, Stephen? Tomorrow. When you're done your yeah, career? You're with... But for some people, they like having a record of accomplishments, a record of achievements, things that they've done, There's hobbies no that they pursued to really you high, more elite levels, sports or athletics. Stephen, stop, you don't... Like, for a lot Steven, of people, Stephen, you, 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 you have a son, you have a son. You have nothing, I just can't. Like Zerka. Shut up, bro. Does it really hurt to stay quiet? Because if, if it hurts for you to stay quiet, I will understand. But you just you just speak without actually adding any any value to the conversation. And what's worse is that when he would interject, Destiny and Myron would forget what they were talking about and just completely just talk about something else. Oh, man, it was so annoying, dude. And you know what? It doesn't even help, too, that Zarka would just insult everybody as if that was supposed to be funny or something. If you look at it through this blue homosexual's point of view, I think he well, grew well, taller well, with well. that one, but check it out. Like why and you like- Bro, you're not even a virgin. Face. Why the fuck would anyone invest in you? You're not used Twinkie. Why these stupid <laughs> on this podcast? No, so shut the up don't. and go back to the book. I you're ruining society, so. Yeah, he just insults. Like, I understand if you want to insult, dude, like that's fine, man, but at least make it creative. Like just throwing out the F slur, F bombs. That it, it, that's not funny. It's just you're just throwing out f bombs. You know, I want to hear something funny, something clever, something that has been put together that just sounds good. You know, there's no euphony. There's no, there's no, nothing created, no pun, anything. It's all just cacophony. And when he did try to make jokes, they just, they just sucked, man. They were terrible. That's oh why God. it's called sea level, because the sea is level. That's why it's called tectonic <laughs> plates, because they're plates. That's why it's called horizon, because it's horizontal. Uh, even, he's a nerd, but even Weinstein was pulling. Uh, ahead, so, so I think you're pulling him out of daycare. Fundamentally. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I was getting at before, and I'm glad, by the way, that guy towards the end, he was the only one laughing, dude. And I have to, and we're gonna talk about him in a bit because that guy was just dying of laughter, man. If there's any way I want to go out, it's like that. I want to go out laughing, you know. But anyways, um, yeah. Before we move on and talk about that guy, 
I want to go ahead and show you guys this video because I know this clip doesn't have anything to do with the Fresh and Fit podcast, but I thought it was just very telling of just how much Zerka talks and doesn't listen. listen. Now we go. Well, now we get the view. Hold on. Listen. Listen to what Bradley Yo, just hey, said. Hey, Go ahead. Shut the fuck go. up. Listen to what I'm saying. Why are you getting mad? Because I'm talking to you right now. Listen. I'm answering it. Is Why it are you a, fucking yelling at me? Because you're yelling. I'm trying to talk to you, motherfucker. You see what I mean? I'm telling you guys, man. Zerka has enough space in his mouth to bite off more than he can chew, which means that there's two. There, there's a dichotomy between comedian and a humorist. A humorist is a person who actually brings uh, humor into a conversation. A comedian goes upstage and performs written jokes. That's the difference between a humorist and a comedian. And of course, Zerka is a humorist because damn man, like that's unacceptable. I really, I personally just did not like anything that he said. There were, the jokes were kind of getting better towards the end, but personally for me, I, I just did not feel Zerka in this episode. Overall though, I thought that it was quite entertaining. Like I mentioned earlier, because there's a lot of drama unfolding right in the show too. And there was this one particular drama that unfolded where I was just like, whoa, man, things are kind of getting out of hand. It was between Xena and some woman named Lauren. Lauren is the one next to uh, Myron in this photo. And of course, Xena is one of Sneakle's girlfriends. And I have to say, man, I actually kind of respect Xena because she is ride or die. So this woman loves Sneeko. So when this woman named Lauren starts to press Sneeko with tough questions, Xena just comes from, you know, <laughs> the back, just announcing her thoughts. I love Sneeko and he can have as many women as he wants. What's that to you, bitch? You don't got a man, you ugly ass. Bitch. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Right, um, Whoa. As fiery as that was, believe it or not, there's no spoilers. There's no wildfire. Uh, everybody there put out the fire because uh, things were getting heated. And of course, they have a show to run. So they were just kind of like not exactly holding them back, but kind of telling Xena to just kind of like, you know, just maintain yourself in the back. Anyways, listen, man, there is one more character that I really wanted to talk about that I mentioned earlier that I was going to talk about, which is one of Fresh and Fit's producers, this guy right here. This guy died of laughter. His last words were, ha, ha, ha. Something like that, I don't remember. Like every single time Zerka would create like a funny, cause every now and then Zerka would get lucky and he would just make a joke that sounded good. And when he would make a joke, this guy would just come out dying of laughter, man. And this guy was so unbelievably loud. Like if he whispered a secret in someone's ear, that would be the last thing they would ever hear. Myron got the call. <laughs> hey man. Oh my Y'all are getting canceled tomorrow. <laughs> Y'all are fucking done. Six million died. Yeah. <laughs> so overall, it was a great podcast. I enjoyed myself a lot. I enjoyed the podcast. And I do want to go ahead and show you guys this one joke that Zerka made. I thought it was absolutely hilarious. Why is Einstein considered a genius for marrying his cousin? I try to fuck my cousin. Nobody called, nobody said I'm smart. Nobody said you're smart. That's okay. Bad. I thought I thought that was pretty funny. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there, man. I am done. Uh, that was a four hour podcast. Of course, you guys already know I link all my sources down below. Obviously, it's just one video, so or two videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and link that down below. If you guys wanna go watch it, I highly recommend it. It's four hours long. It's it's awesome content. You guys are gonna enjoy. It. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there, man. And uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. And hopefully, you guys learned something today.